What's up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them. And them are you, which are the chosen ones. And I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, guys, at a drop of a dime, at any moment, at any place, any time around anyone, you got to be willing to drop everything and move with the will of the Most High. You got to detach yourself from everything and have to pick up and leave and go wherever it is or wherever it is the most high wants you to be at and this is why because as a chosen one you want your destiny fulfilled you want to fulfill your purpose you want your manifest you want your manifestations to come to pass these things are not going to come just by you staying in one place, being around people that you're comfortable with, being around people that you think are good for you. This thing comes with sacrifice. And sometimes you have to sacrifice your family. Sometimes you're gonna have to pick up and leave. And the people around you, your loved ones, they're gonna have to understand that. It's not gonna always be easy. You're gonna have to make the hard decisions. You're gonna have to do the hard things. But guess what? At the end of it all, the Most High is always gonna make sure that the things that are near and dear to your heart and the things that you truly care about, the Most High will make sure that these things are taken care of and that you get to see your these people, places, and things in due time. But right now, you're on a mission. You have to be willing to just pick up and leave. If the Most High wants you somewhere, you gotta be there. But this all comes from being tapped in. Tapped in to your higher self, tapped in to your intuition. See, these aren't just, oh, I think I wanna go here, or I think, no, you gonna know and you gonna feel it and the Most High is gonna give you signs and synchronicities. It's going to show up in every area of your life. You got to be willing to quit that job when it's time for you to get up off that job and go somewhere else. You might look at the situation from a surface level and be like, yo, I ain't got no money to pay for this. How I'm going to pay for that? How I'm going to do this? You can't think about none of that. You just got to get up and go. If you got to quit the job, you got to quit the job. The Most High will make a way. The Lord will make a way. God will provide. But you got to be a willing vessel to make this thing happen. To make the Most High use you in a time of need. Let me give y'all a little short little rundown of my story. I was on a government job. And while on this job, I knew my time was limited there. Going into that thing, everything I go, let me tell you this, everything I go into, I already go into it like, yo, my time limited. This ain't no forever thing with me. So I went on this job, I already knew that the Most High got more for me, that I was gonna be leaving soon. And when I finally got that call from the Most High, I got those synchronicities, I got those signs that it was time for me to get up and move. I dropped the job without even thinking twice. I did what was needed to be done in order for me to fulfill my purpose because I want my purpose and I want my destiny fulfilled more than anything, more than I want a bill paid, more than I want to flex in a brand new car. More than I want to be around my family all the time. Because the last time I checked, the family structure, you got the most high, yourself, your wife, your kids, or your husband and kids, everything else. So it's the most high first. Your purpose come first. Your destiny come first. Because guess what? You got something within you that the Most High want to get out to the world. You going to help hundreds of people. 
thousands of people, millions of people, with just the gift that's been placed within you. But you gotta be a willing vessel because it's just not gonna happen by you standing in one place. Things gonna have to be moved around, shift, because you've been living your life on your own terms for how long? Lord knows how long. So when you get out that little bitty bag and get in your purpose, it's gonna be some major shifting going on in your life. Because you done built the life, entire life built on your, your decisions of what you want and what you think is best for you. Not what you think the most high think is best for you. Not what the most high want. Not based off of the most high purpose for your life. So it's gonna be some pain. It's gonna be some hurt. It's gonna be some tears. But guess what? Every event that caused you to experience pain, hurt, agony, stress, guess what? It's an opportunity for a new situation to come in to bring you a new form of happiness. A happiness you never felt before. A happiness that can't be fathomed. And this is the happiness that the Most High is, has guaranteed you if you follow His mission, if you follow His purpose for your life. You're gonna be compensated. But you gotta get out of that little bitty bag and get in your purpose. Let the Most High redesign your life. Let the Most High go in and tear down some old stuff and build some, some better stuff in your life. It's okay, you'll be all right. You'll be all right, you'll live. I'm still here. And guess what? I'm still on edge, I'm still on go. Cause at a drop of a dime, if I get to go, I'm gone. I get the green light by the most high, I'm gone. I'm out of there. Let me get the synchronicities. And pray about this thing, y'all. That's another thing. Y'all ain't in connection with the Most High. So you don't know if it's God. You don't know if it's you. You don't know if it's the, the, the devil. You don't know who it is. You don't know if it's the, the ideas your auntie done put in your head a couple years ago. You don't know if it's your cousin. You don't know if it's Pookie and Ray Ray down the street that been putting ideas in your mind. You don't know who it is because you ain't in connection with the Most High. Stay connected. You like to stay connected on social media. You like to stay connected on on your phone with your family and friends, you like stay connected on FaceTime, stay connected with the most high. That's the most important connection you can ever have. Don't sell yourself short. Know who you really need to be connected to. Cause when things go wrong in your life, not man one of those people I just mentioned are gonna help you. Are gonna get you out of the situation you're in. Cause the, as soon as you get into some mess, you ain't calling Pookie Ray Ray and I'm you, you, Lord help me. Most high help me, God help me. You know how you are. I just need y'all to stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. And it's gonna be some pain. But guess what? You have been living your life on your own terms for how long? 20 plus years, you'll be all right. Most High just gotta do some rearranging. You gotta change some things around. You got married to that guy you wasn't even supposed to be married to. You got in that relationship with that girl you wasn't even supposed to have been with. You got had kids with her, you ain't know you, you knew you weren't supposed to have kids with that woman. You got with that man, you thought you didn't start a family. You know, you thought that was the man. Nope. Nope, that was your doings. And I and the same thing, look. Look, we have free will. We do stuff on our own. Everything ain't from God. A lot of stuff be from us. Our, our doing. Look at Abraham. Had a child by his wife's handmaid. That wasn't God. That wasn't, that wasn't, the, that wasn't the, the child that was going to inherit the promise. That was out of their scarcity mindset and their fear of not having a child or thinking they not gonna ever have a child. 
What they say, wait on the Lord. Y'all better wait on them. Stop making decisions on your own. You wouldn't have to worry about that if you just got in your purpose. Because when you're in your purpose, that's all you focused on. Your purpose. And the people that come across your path are going to be purpose-minded individuals. So whatever transpire after that is going to be in the will, within the will of God. But y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear G Wells though. I'm just, I'm just, hey, listen. <laughs> I'm here for y'all, man. I'm here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We all been through some stuff, but I'm just a different type of guy. I'm the type of guy. I like, hey, look. I go the other way. When everybody going left, I'm going right. And that look, I've been called crazy my entire life. People, oh, you Greg crazy, Greg this. Man, I don't care. I know the most high got me on a mission. So if I gotta go drop everything, quit my job, get rid of my apartment, sell everything, and go down south and do my thing, and, 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 and be obedient to the most high, and see what he got for me out there, meet the people I need to meet, then that's what I'm gonna do. See, I look at it like this. From a physical standpoint. Nine out of 10 of the times when you're winning in the physical, when it comes to materialistic things, you're losing in the spiritual realm. And 100% of the time, when you went in the spiritual realm, you went in the physical realm. I'm telling you, this is fact. This is fact. Do your homework. But this G Wells with them, dog. You know what I'm saying? G Wells with them, and them are you, which are the chosen ones. And I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. And that's why I get up here and talk to y'all. and give this information out how it comes to me from the most high y'all know what it is you know it's what 1 36 in the morning i just felt this i'm just getting in you know what i'm saying man look y'all better stop playing this purpose ain't got no off button this ain't no nine to five this thing 24 7 24-7, 365, you on call. With your purpose, you're on call. It ain't no off. You ain't off. You ain't off until you, you ascended to the other realm. You ain't off until you buried in the ground. When your spirit ascend from this physical plane, then you off. But this purpose, this journey, this, this thing, you on call with this thing. You can get caught in the middle of the night. Most high been waking me up at like four o'clock every morning. Sometimes 3.30. Cause this thing ain't got no off button. And I sit up and I do a little meditation and I be like, yo, I gotta go write something. I get up right 3.30 in the morning. I'm always up. I'm up early. I don't use no alarm. I swear I don't. I, I swear I don't. I don't use no alarm. Most high wake me up. When he got, he put something on my spirit, it's time for me to get up. It's time for me to write it down. It's time for me to get to work. But, y'all know what it is. <laughs> I just want y'all to understand the importance of staying ready so you ain't gotta get ready. I made a, I recently made a video and I'm gonna attach it to this one at the end of this video about creating space in your life. When you create space for the most high in your life, there's no room for you to get attached to anything. But I'm gonna post that video at the end and I want y'all to watch it in its entirety. Don't go over there and watch it for a minute and then get no. You need to watch that. Because that's gonna be the first step in you getting ready and staying ready is creating that space in your life to where the most high can reign in every area of your life because without that creation can't take place you're you're surviving off of your own 
neediness of attaching yourself to things, scared to let things go. That's a scarcity mindset. But I'm about to let y'all go so y'all can go watch that video because y'all need this. This is the first step into y'all letting go, release things, release them so that you can get new things. So I'm gonna let y'all go right now. And y'all, I'm gonna attach that video to this at the end of this video. And y'all gonna get ready. And y'all gonna stay ready. And so when the most high call y'all, you ain't gotta get ready. Y'all know what it is. G Wills with them, baby. Let's go! Bang!